right, so here's the story. I don't know how to get around my own town, apparently. Yes, that's the other story. Um, we are on a quest to get a Muppet Christmas Carol because it's Christmas tradition that we watch a Muppet Christmas Carol. But usually this Christmas tradition involves watching it at another family's house when they have their Christmas Eve party, which they're not having this year. And because we are horrible people who are going to hell, we do not actually own a Muppet Christmas Carol yet. It's like 30 bucks on Amazon. What do you want from me? The point is we are on a quest to find it. Yeah. So let's meet our players. Here we have the back of Nick's head. Yeah, forgive the hair. It's usually pretty bad, but this is worse because I just showered. And here we yeah, have the back of looks like that. the back of Lizzie's yeah, head. Like Hi. It's like you may notice I'm the youngest, but I'm the best driver, so I'm driving. That's bull. You know Isn't it. Isn't that bull? That is bull. So true. You are not the best I driver. I have the most experienced driving. That might be true, but you are not the best driver. Other than maybe Dave because his LA adventures. But I'm way better than you. So. Okay. Um, no you're not. That's my retort. That's all I got. <laughs> I've had lots of practice driving my friends around all freaking year. I'm That's a good true. driver. Okay, maybe you've improved in that time. No one's died yet. Oh, what? And I killed people? Yep. You kill their souls. Just because Erica has nightmares that'll kill her while driving doesn't mean I've actually killed anyone. Okay? You've killed their will to live. Okay, because I can only see the back of your head, Nick, it sounds like a Tribble is arguing. Camera wasn't rolling, but we just saw a truck drive by carrying the billboard for the for the VIP lingerie board. store. It's right up there. You just see the back of it where it says VIP. Yeah, it was just kind of funny sitting at an inter intersection watching that go by. Mm -hmm. Whoops. My thumb is so purpley. It's Christmas colored. No, it's stab yourself with a wire from your bra colored. I don't celebrate that holiday. Yeah, we're out of that fluid stuff. I know, we've been out for like a year and a half. We should get more of that. Yeah. Or we should, you know, wash our windows. It's actually causing a pretty cool soft focus effect on all the cars outside, but... We don't care. Bah. But Lizzie likes to see when she drives. Call me old-fashioned, but... And you call yourself a good driver. A real driver drives with her gut. Hey, Dad, what's up? Hey, where are you guys? We're waiting to pull into the plaza. Uh, at FYE slash, uh, what place are you planning on going? ShopRite, Shop right, the one Shop right over right. there. That's where I'm gonna get the powdered sugar. <laughs> yeah. Do we need anything else while we're out? Ask him if we need all Little almonds. plastic soap container. Oh, yeah, yeah, a little plastic soap container to hold soap while traveling. Oh, oh yeah, you probably don't. Cheap kitchen sponge, got it. Oh, ask him if we need almond. Hang on. Lizzie wants to know if we need almond. Almond extract. Almond extract. Because mom said she'd check. She doesn't know yet. Does need to pick up almond extract. We have almond extract. <laughs> I hate our family. <laughs> and we don't need a sponge. <laughs> what the hell did you call that? <laughs> the soap dish. He needs a plastic soap container that can hold soap while we're traveling, like in a bathroom bag. Like one of those little. Pish yes, like I one have of those one. Things. Lizzie says she has one. <laughs> look in my bathroom. He says, look in, can he steal it forever? It's pink. It's pink. <laughs> he doesn't care. Okay, tell him to look in the little white cabinet thing in on the, the bottom. In the little white cabinet in the bottom. Or in, middle shelf. In, in or bottom or middle shelf in our bathroom, the little white cabinet. She says she has a <laughs> pink soap container. He doesn't see it. Doesn't see it? To look in the top. Look in the top. It should be, it'll be like in the back. She said it'll be like in the back. Never mind. Did you see it? Okay. Sorry. Okay, cool. 
Awesome. Later. <laughs> so... Don't pick anything up. <laughs> anything at all? Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. What a pointless interlude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, so FYE was sold out of the movie. Alright, so FYE was sold out of the movie. Yeah, it was. Kinda sucked. But we did get a we did get a poster for our dad. The last I mean, minute. It still had uh, the new Muppet Christmas thing, which I didn't actually watch the whole thing. But probably sucked. Yeah, Eric said it was very good. So uh, I watched the first five minutes and then kinda got bored. Yeah, that's what happens. They also had Muppets take Manhattan, but claimed it was Muppets from space. Yes, they're deceptive like that. Yeah, what the hell were we thinking going shopping on Christmas Eve? Well, I was gonna go yesterday, but then that, that didn't happen. happen. Still haven't been and in that I pizza was place. planning on just going to Best Video and just getting it. But, no. Someone thought that was not an acceptable. Something. Why rent it if you could buy it? All right, now off to Skiff. I should just go down and buy it. LA Fitness past Top and Top, right? Right, that's where Skiff is. Yeah, I don't know names. <laughs> it's weird, when I look at like a store name, in my head I do an immediate filter <coughs> of DVDs or no DVDs. And GameStop used to have a little flickering light that would be like, I might have some DVDs. But they got rid of all their DVDs a couple years ago, and so now I have to readjust and be like, no, no DVDs. Oh, no. Two summers ago when I was looking for a job, when I went into GameStop, they're like, yeah, we're getting rid of all our DVDs. Just stopped in by GameStop for a second and I got a bunch of DVDs for like a buck and a half each because they were on a clearance sale. That's where I got Mr. Saturday Night, Seabiscuit, and the Mark Zorro. Basically, movies you didn't really need. Yeah, but... it was like literally, literally, I was thinking about buying movies that I didn't even want just because the opportunity was there. I almost bought the House of Wind and Fog or Sand and Fog or whatever that movie's called. The creepy looking one. But then I was kind of like, ah, I really don't know if I'd ever watch this. Because at least the Mark of Zorro and... I don't uh, see any snow glistening in this lane. You realize he's filming. <laughs> I also realize that you've been ranting for 10 minutes about how GameStop doesn't have any movies. The sound in this video will not be that interesting anyway, so we might as well play Christmas carols. Let's stop at the Gat. Maybe they have Muppet Christmas Carol. <laughs> Apparently your uh, no DVD filter isn't working. It's broken. Now wait, was that verse about having fun with the snowman until the other kitties knock it down? Yeah. What kind of cruel bastards live in this neighborhood? Dave, come on. Half the fun of building a snowman is killing it. Yeah, but it's the other kitties. You don't go around killing other people's snowmen. We don't music. care. We'll tune Come back in, in when there's more back. music. Um, we kick off oh, you don't care? Hours I think less of you is the person to care. All the way through Christmas Day tomorrow. Ooh, that's no good at all. Yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. Hey, they're building something. Looks like a house. That's clearly a fort. Just by some very ambitious youngsters. So for my driver's test, I had to drive up this road, like from state up Skiff. Uh -huh. When I turned to come up Skiff, there was like a huge truck, like, you know, I-95 kind of truck on the road. And so I had to go around. It was the scariest moment of my life. But that's why I passed, because I did that part well. <laughs> 
So it's not because you're a good driver, it's because you accomplished one task. No, it's because I was a good driver, but I just can't park, so I should have failed my parking part, so I should have failed the test. Interesting. Everyone, I always admit that I can't park, okay? I never lie about that. I'm actually, a good driver, I'm a bad parker. Actually, I can't parallel park, so who am I to judge? It's been a while since I've parallel parked. I'm pretty I sure- I haven't parallel parked since my driver's test. I'm pretty sure they just skipped parallel parking in my driver's test and oh, in yeah, all of my and in all of my driving lessons. Like well, back when I think when we um, took our tests, they weren't allowed to test you on parallel parking at the driver's test. Really? Yeah, that was something they weren't allowed to test. That's weird. If they tested you on it, you could not fail for not knowing how to parallel park. But if you took the driver's ed course, the driver's ed course could get in trouble trouble for not teaching you how to parallel park properly. See, I'm pretty sure on my on-road time, like, the guy showed me parallel parking, but I don't remember ever actually doing it. See, that's why I almost uh, failed, was because I failed parallel parking. Oh, it was parallel parking? Mm -hmm. It wasn't, like, normal parking? It was parallel parking, and then it was the backing in from the right. I took, like, too many tries to get it right. Because <laughs> backing in from the right, I never had a problem with, because they taught me the pattern to do it. Parallel yeah, parking was always there. like they also. I like how we're having this conversation right across from the sign pointing to the DMV. I always think this is slavery of lines. As expected, this parking lot is a even bigger nightmare than the uh, Dixwell one. I feel right. Okay. Yeah, these people not paying attention. I see them. Literally can't see anything. Yeah, don't you hate that windshield? Sorry. I told you you can't see anything. I'm glad we have our most experienced driver. Shut up, I can't I literally can't see Nick. <laughs> We're gonna walk to Target if they don't have it here. Alright, mission accomplished. Best Buy did have the movie, as well as several other DVDs Nick can waste his money on. Alright, mission accomplished. Best Buy did have the movie, as well as several other DVDs Nick can waste his money on. One of those was a gift, and the other one's is not a waste. Okay, complete series of Flight of the Concords as well as, you know, concert disc for 20 bucks. That's a good deal. Uh, you guys know We're hugging the car. You might want to unlock the car so we can get in. <laughs> Yeah, but you're you're on that side now, so you don't have to wait any longer. You're the only one with keys. Ah, oh, gah! <laughs> no! I just told really? Lizzie to stop singing this. Really? I'm changing it. No way! That is not a statistical. I totally no, I knew. Probable. I knew it. That's not something that should have happened. I have ESP. Hey, oh, 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 oh. dude, what the hell? <laughs> For all you out there on the internet, full W is a horrible driver. I didn't realize Closer was directed by the same guy who did The Graduate. Mike Nichols? Yeah. Huh? Did you know The Graduate was co-written by Buck Henry? I feel like you might have told me that at some point and I forgot. So yes, Get Smart is the love child of the producers and the graduate. Figure that one out. Love child being the operative word, seeing how it's the graduate and the producers. Yes. Lost child might be more... Uh... <laughs> Who tells scary ghost stories at Christmas? That's a good question. Are they talking about just Dickens? Because the ghosts in that weren't that scary, other than the, the last one. 
And that would only be singular. Ghost story. <laughs> Is it really the only thing they could think of to rhyme with Tales of the Glories? Who wrote this song and why do they suck? So two people just turn left out. Oh, and another person turning left out of the right lane. Lord. Blocking us off, trapping us in the parking lot. The traditional, you One know, chick festive. pulled up next to us, looked right at us, made eye contact with me, and then cut in front of us to turn left. The Christmas spirit, everyone. At least we got our movie. Yes, we have our Muppets. And you know what they say? It's in the singing of a street corner choir. It's going home and getting warm by the fire. It's true wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. A cup of kindness that we share with another. A sweet reunion with a friend or a brother. In all the places you find love, it feels like Christmas. I thought you were gonna say a Muppet in the hand is worth a driver on the street or something weird like that. No, I was, I was trying to get into the, the spirit of the movie. I'm sorry, I died. And you killed it! It is the season of the heart A special time of caring The ways of love made clear It is the season of the spirit the message, if we hear it, 